to insert an online video, again, there's two ways we can do this. We'll start by creating a page and we'll go online video as the title and we'll hit enter to go down to the page space. Now I'm going to go onto YouTube. That's where most of our videos come from. And this is an example of an official Office 365 video about OneNote. Underneath it, you'll see the share button. When I click on that, this section expands and I just right click copy and go across into OneNote. And when I go control V, which is the shortcut for pasting, watch what happens. You'll see how it's picked up the title of the video from YouTube and it's even given us a thumbnail. And this is useful because it allows us to play the video directly from the OneNote page. So this means that students aren't in the YouTube space where they might be distracted by up next playlists and so on. What's also really useful about this technique is it allows you to put video watching or responding cues directly next to it. So that's an example how I like to put video prompts directly next to the video thumbnails themselves. This gives students the option to hit the play button and they can play the video directly from the page. However, if the students want to go full screen, they can click on the link here and this will open a browser page and give them the option to scale up the video to watch it across their entire device screen. So that's the first way that we can use videos and that's to simply go onto YouTube to hit the share button and copy the link directly onto a OneNote page. You can also do this through OneNote itself and you'll notice in the insert tab we also have an online video option. So when I click on that it asks for the video address and I can go control V and hit OK. You can see how this has given us the exact same result only it has the subtitle underneath it which is the author of the clip.